YouTube, what's going on? I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Before we jump into today's video, I am super excited to announce that Disney has paired up yet again with Beyond the Screen to give fans an exclusive giveaway of the Cinderella Signature Collection on Blu-ray and DVD release. It releases for the first time in 4K Ultra HD on June 25th, which just so happens to be today. The classic fairy tale we all know and love comes to life with new spectacular colors, vibrant sound and breathtaking production design. Plus, the Blu-ray Digital has a ton of new features and includes a total of two extra hours of bonuses. To enter this contest, all you need to do is head over to our Instagram page at top 10 beyond the screen, follow us, and then like the contest picture and tag two friends who you would watch this movie with. Once we have our lucky winners, we will contact you with all the details on how to claim your prize. Huge thanks to Disney for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys watch our videos to keep an eye out for future contests, and good luck to everyone. As for now, let's jump into today's video of top 10 actors banned from Disney. Starting off our list at number 10 is Bella Thorne. She made a name for herself on the Disney dance show called Shake It Up, and since her Disney days, she has continued to headline in movies like The Duff and the TV series Famous in Love. Outside of her acting career though, she has also made quite the reputation for herself. Her appearance wouldn't be what you find on Disney, she pierced her septum and rocks different rainbow colored hair all the time. Not only just her physical appearance, but her behavior is not the same as the young girl we saw on the Disney channel. I mean, she was bound to grow up at some point, but now she's often posting pictures in skimpy bikinis and showing off her nipple piercing. You do you girl, but obviously Disney won't be taking her back ever again. But Bella is totally okay with that and said she never wanted to be a Disney girl as she called it. She also exposed Disney saying that they wanted to fire her when she was 14 because she posted a picture wearing a bikini. During an interview she said they told her and I quote, you're lucky that Bella has such a fan base that we can't afford to fire her at this point in time, but if she does one more thing we will. Needless to say, she has cut all ties with Disney. At number 9 is Orlando Brown. He played the lovable character Eddie on That's So Raven. While his other co-stars are now back on the reunion show Raven's Home, he wasn't even asked to be on the show. That is probably because he's too busy getting arrested and spending most of his time in and out of court. In 2014, he was charged with public intoxication and then a disturbing the peace charge after he threatened to kill a woman. Only two years later, he was charged with battery and drug possession. He allegedly hit his girlfriend and he was found carrying meth at the time. The only pictures he has in magazines now are his various mug shots where he's looking a little crazy and rocking a Raven Simone tattoo. Yes, he tattooed his co-star's face on his upper chest and we're not really sure why. Clearly, Dizzy isn't interested in being associated with any of the above legal charges, so I guess Brown has traded in his headshots for mug shots. Taking over the number 8 spot is Lelaine Vergara. We know her as Miranda on Lizzie McGuire, who was the best friend that everyone wanted. Wanted. She took on the headlining role as Hilary Duff's best friend, but after the series ended, she kept a low profile and she recently opened up, calling that time of her life her dark years. She also starred on the Disney Channel original film called You Wish and even tried to launch a music career in 2003, but her album was never released. Things went south for her when she caught an addiction to crystal meth. Back in 2007, she opened up and admitted the possession of the drug and her felony charge that went with it. She explained that she didn't show up for a court appearance and the judge issued a $50,000 bench warrant for her arrest. She ended up pleading guilty for her charge and she had to complete a drug treatment program, but her charge will remain on her record regardless. The actress says she now works a regular job to pay the bills and she does random projects on the side. Unfortunately, because of her charge, Disney jobs won't be one of them. Sliding into number 7 is Shia LaBeouf. A lot of people know him from his Transformer movies, but he was also one of the stars on a Disney show called Even Stevens from 2000 to 2003. Only hardcore Disney fans will know him from Disney rather than Transformers. He took on the role of Louis Stevens, that mischievous little brother. However, since growing into adulthood, he's had some very interesting and very questionable moments. He's had multiple issues with both alcohol and anger and has been arrested on multiple occasions. He's been involved with trespassing, disorderly conduct, assault, and drunk driving. And how could we forget the very weird moment where he showed up on the red carpet with a bag over his head that read, I am not famous anymore. When asked why he was wearing it, his response was, I am a bag. Ask me a question. That was so weird. 
It is safe to say his legal issues and erratic behavior is not wanted at Disney by any means. And at number 6 is Debbie Ryan. She first stole our hearts when she joined the Disney cast on The Sweet Life of Deck and became the newest Disney darling. She starred alongside the Sprouse twins until that series ended and then she landed the lead role in her own Disney Channel series called Jessie. For years she was holding that innocent and clean image that Disney had but that quickly went out the window when she was arrested. Back in 2016, TMZ reported that the 22 year old actress was driving Driving in LA around 11 p.m., when she made a left turn and slammed into a Mercedes. The driver in the other car claims they got hurt, which made cops arrest Ryan for a felony DUI. This immediately broke the internet, which completely shattered her Disney star reputation that everyone knew her for. Her police report also confirmed that her blood alcohol level was 0.11, which was over the legal limit, proving that she was in fact driving under the influence when she hit the other car. She was charged with two criminal offenses and tried to save her career by taking taking it to Twitter, apologizing for her actions and saying she hopes she can make things better. The actress has been able to continue a career booking roles in various movies and TV series but none that are linked to Disney. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Jake T. Austin. He played the adorable little brother Max on Wizards of Waverly Place. He was living the dream headlining a huge Disney show and starring alongside a star like Selena Gomez. However, after Disney he's had a few struggles. It all started in 2013 when the 18 year old was pulled over for not using his headlights, but then failed the sobriety test after cops said they smelt alcohol in the car. He was arrested and charged with a DUI on the spot. Just one month later, he was involved in a hit and run accident that involved four other vehicles. He fled the scene of the car accident saying that he didn't want to face any more legal trouble, but obviously that made it even worse. Then in 2014, it was reported he had a meltdown at the Teen Choice Awards. Apparently, he yelled and went off because a worker didn't know who he was. Witnesses claim he even threw things at a staff member and then stormed away. He's been able to clean up his act ever since, booking some other roles and voiceover work, but Disney hasn't taken him back. Here we are at number 4 with Demi Lovato. Her career started with acting on Disney Channel's movie Camp Rock and the TV show Sunny with a Chance. After that, she went on to completely dominate the music scene. But she started making headlines like being accused of punching a backup dancer while on tour with the Jonas Brothers. It was reported multiple times that she was checked into rehab and diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Over the years, she has been very open about her battle with eating disorders and a drug addiction. She openly admitted that there was a point when she couldn't go half an hour without wanting more cocaine and that she'd show up to interviews either drunk or high. In 2018, she had a critical overdose and ended up in rehab once again where she completely disconnected herself from the outside world and the industry. Now she has returned sober, which we are super grateful for, but she hasn't returned to Disney and probably never will. I just want her to drop some more hits if I'm being honest. I miss her music. Alright guys, at number 3 we have Britney Spears. Before she was dropping bangers, she was actually a Disney star which happens to be where her career first started. She was on the Mickey Mouse Club alongside Justin Timberlake, Ryan Gosling and Christina Aguilera. She's now an iconic pop singer and also a mom, but none of us could forget the time when we thought her career would be over for good. Who could forget the breakdown she had when she shaved her head and smashed a car with an umbrella. During that time, she overdosed on amphetamines and was taken to the hospital and put under psychiatric hold. For for some time, she was in and out of treatment centers and had some legal issues too. Nowadays, her life has definitely been pieced back together, but Disney will not be a piece of her puzzle. Which is fine because ultimately she is Britney, bitch. In spot number two is Stoney Westmerland. He was on the Disney show called Andy Mac, but you might not know that since we often forget that not all Disney stars are kids. Westmerland took on the role of the grandfather on the hit TV show, and honestly, he could probably take our number one spot on this list, but whatever. Turns out his Disney career quickly came to an end on December 15th, 2018, when he was arrested for allegedly trying to have sex with a person he believed was just 13 years old. Keep in mind, he is 49 years old. While chatting with the teen online, Utah police saw he sent pornographic photos to the minor and asked the young teen to engage in sexual acts with him and also to send nude photos. On his way over to meet the teen, he was in a ride sharing service where investigators say he planned to bring her to his hotel room, which is when the Salt Lake City Police Department and FBI Child Exploitation Task Force arrested him. He was charged with four counts which are all considered third degree felonies. Following his arrest, Disney Channel confirmed that his role on the show has been terminated 
and we can assume that means for any future projects as well. Taking the number one spot on our list is Miley Cyrus because people were absolutely devastated when she left her role of Hannah Montana. People were so invested in her character that she was judged the absolute hardest when she started to steer away from Disney. Her image changed from what they were used to seeing and they were mortified when witnessing the whole twerking on Robin Thicke thing at the VMAs. It didn't help her case, she was always very open about her drug use and her sexuality. She was constantly posting videos of herself smoking pot and appearing practically naked in every appearance she made. I mean, she was completely naked and swinging on a giant metal ball for her music video, Wrecking Ball. Disney wouldn't accept her back simply for all of those reasons, but also because she has exposed them and accused Disney for taking advantage of her. She told Elle magazine that she was underpaid. She said, I mean, at one point, they'll probably kill me for saying it. I was probably the least paid person on my cast because I didn't know any better. I was just like, I can be on Disney. Yay. I think there are a lot of things Disney would kill her for saying and doing. All right, guys, there's our list. Let me know what you think down in the comments and give the video a thumbs up so that I know you liked it. I'm going to end this video by responding to some of your comments. Rest up, Fredo says, oh my God, Disney and Pixar writers are so sneaky and dirty. Uh, yeah, you're just noticing this now? Julie Alm says, go Jocelyn, you don't take any GIF from anyone. Uh, hell no, I don't, especially when I said the word GIF right. Liverpool fan says, hi, I've got a question. Who's your favorite Marvel hero and villain? Honestly, I don't really have a favorite, but if I had to choose, my favorites are Iron Man and Black Widow. And I like Thanos as a villain, which is like the most typical response that you could have. Mama Pink says, you wear whatever you want. Way to shut down the hater. I'm new to the channel. I've seen two videos now and I think they are super fun. Aw, that's so nice. I'm really glad you like the channel. And yes, I am all about shutting down the haters. All right, guys, that's all I got. Before we go, I just want to give a massive shout out to Disney for sponsoring this video again and giving fans a chance to win the Cinderella Signature Collection on Blu-ray DVD. Make sure you guys head over to our Instagram page to enter into the contest. It is linked in the description below. Good luck to all my Disney lovers out there. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.